we learned a few rules for writing the chemical formulae of compounds. Before writing the actual formulae, let us review those rules in short. The first rule states that in a compound formed by metal and non-metal combination, the metal component is mentioned first while the non-metal component is written later. Secondly, when we have polyatomic ions in the compound, then they are represented using brackets. And lastly, according to the valencies, the net charge on a complete molecule must be balanced. Yes, these were the three basic rules. Now, in order to write the chemical formulae, firstly, let us keep ourselves prepared with a chart of valencies of elements. Valencies of a few important elements are as we can find here. Now that we are all well equipped with the rules and the valencies of elements as well, let's begin with writing the chemical formulae of a few compounds. Let us take a few simple compounds first, beginning with hydrogen chloride. We first write the symbol for each, followed by their valencies. The symbol for hydrogen is H and that for chlorine is Cl. And what are their valencies? Our reference chart says it's one for each. Both have a tendency to acquire one electron. That means one hydrogen atom will require bonding with one chlorine atom, right? Absolutely. Thus, the chemical formula for hydrogen chloride will be HCl. Here, we need not specify it as H1Cl1. It can be written as HCl only. Similarly, let us write the formula for another simple compound that's hydrogen sulphide. Let us first write the symbol for each followed by their valencies. Now, can we write it as HS for this? No, absolutely not, because the valencies for each are not the same. The valency for sulphur is 2. It needs 2 electrons to complete its octet. But hydrogen has its valency as 1. It requires 1 electron to attain stability. So, this indicates to us that both the atoms will be sharing electrons with each other. Now, since one hydrogen atom can give only one electron, it's obvious that we will need two hydrogen atoms in this bond. And why so? Because sulphur needs two electrons, right? Its valency is two. So, in order to balance the valencies and get no net charge on the molecule, we need two hydrogen atoms to bind with one sulphur atom. That is why we get the formula of hydrogen sulphide as H2S. On similar lines, Let's write the chemical formulae of a few more compounds in the upcoming videos.